Hey there, everybody. Fett here, and welcome back to Fett Plays RimWorld 1.0. All right. This link has been fully upgraded. Yeah, detect the enemies. Give me a sound. Detonate on detection. Don't detect animals. They don't count. Oh, wait. That would count, huh? Maybe he doesn't count because it's down. But anyway, it can reach out to what here? Mm, here. Okay. And technically there. Cool. So if anyone tries to get in, they can get stomped. You see. Or at least that's the way it's going to work once I have some remote explosives. Because I'm thinking we'll put one. Put one here. One here. And then maybe an incendiary over here as well. So I would need to make two incendiaries and two remotes. Cool. And they'll all be on, you know, we're actually going to put it on like channel seven. I do like how it rotates. It's actually pretty cool. I just wish I could stop it from rotating. But whatever. It's fine, I guess. Honestly, probably a terrible use of a core. But who cares? Gotta wait 1.3 days before we can hack another ship. It's gonna happen. Oh, you'll see. You know, we haven't upgraded this AI at all in a while. We should consider doing that, too. Dude, you and the rate that you do this. To be fair, it's totally expected. Alright, so this one's been upgraded. And there's one over here. Has that been upgraded? Uh, yes. So this is our range for explosives in general. None down here, really. But that's fine. I like the idea that we are going to have some over here. I think that concept is a grand one. Bonnie has life-threatening sanity loss. As does Meatloaf. You've eaten some of that bacon again, haven't you? Yep. There isn't very much Chthonian strips left, so you should be out soon. Or so I can hope. Right, are we done doing that? Can you give a call to the Dominion and the Amalgamation? And tell them, yo! I need... Stuff. And by that, I mean silver. I need to trade that So You know, I could just load them on pods and launch them to someone for a little bit of friendly relationship but we don't need that because everyone loves us already so i might as well i'd like to turn that into silver how do you keep dropping your rope drop them i'm thinking I'm doing it on purpose but i can't prove it in a court of law Anyway. All good. All good. Yeah, I'm... Now that I've said it, I'm actually tempted to do it. Like, just do this. Launch a group of seven and just shove a bunch of animals in there. Like, these things. These have no purpose. I mean, that's a little mean. But, I mean, they don't do anything for us. These fission mice. Alright? I mean, look. These dogs. These not fully grown animals. We're not going to mount an Animus Vox. Okay? Let's just go down the list and start shoving animals in here. Alright? That's how we do. I mean, yeah. You're, what? Small, nimble rodents? You're chinchillas. 
Hmm, I do use your fur. The ground runners actually have, like, literally have no purpose anymore. So we should get rid of them. Alright, load them all up. And then we launch them. I don't know. In the space, I guess. That's the solution to all of life's problems. Launch them in the space. Okay. Can't do anything with Dominion. We gotta wait 10 hours? I'm insulted. But fine. Could you at least come over here? And... Take our statues? Maybe? You guys going yet? Not yet. They're getting ready. Still piling up. It's fine. It's fine. It's good. It's fine. And when it's fine, it's good. And here it's good. Here it's fine. Why do we need material? We have silver. And as far as I know, we have components. What else could you possibly need? A high explosive shell. Look, just because that makes sense doesn't mean I got to like it. All right. Dog, what did you do? Jesus. Okay, never, you know what? Just make me some shells so we can make some explosives. Good lord. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not talking about dog farts today. All right, that's not going to happen. You can't make me. It's already come up way too much in this channel, okay? Yeah, this could be really cool if it works the way that I think it's going to work. You know, it doesn't have a listed range on it. But maybe it can just affect the whole map. I kind of like the idea of putting another one over here, but I'm not going to do that. I guess I could put lines under it, you know, wires, and have it guaranteed work that way, but... I don't know if it would work that way. <laughs> Alright, the high explosive shells are done. This is good. Now I just need to make the uh, incendiary ones, and then we can turn them into mines, and then we can turn those into... Wait, you can... Yeah, do it. I will consume very little power when it's not in use. And then boost production speed by 25% and work speed. Yeah, do that too. Upgrade these suckers. Man, I wish more buildings could be upgraded like that. That's kind of cool. I could upgrade my Tesla coils with MEPS. For example. These guys could actually use MEPS too. They'd take more power, but... You know... At the cost of more damage. Anyway, yeah, this will help downsize our animals a little bit, which I think will be a good thing. I hope it will. Hello, Boogie Woogie. How you doing? That's a great name. Vision Mouse third generation became unavailable. We'll load that sucker up. I'm not kidding when I say we really don't need the fission mice. Alright, Baron and the boys are going. They're going to be there in 0 0.9 days. And then it'll be outpost time. And hopefully that'll be a fun time. Hello, Dark Light. How you doing? I'm sure you're not moody at all. Hates dumb labor. Loves the cold. Umbra Dark Light Nighthawk. What? I mean, at least you have a theme going on. I'll give you credit for that. Hey, visitors. See what's going on over here. Talk to me. Uh, Dominion of Eberron visiting the colony. They have a few items of trade. Sammy is the leader of the faction. Derek's grandparents. My ex-lover. Oh, boy. Derek's aunt. And uh, Ironheart's aunt. Okay. Hello. How y'all doing? Linda Young. Age 138, Linda Young has no medical conditions. This lady is a miracle. A living miracle. Holy crap. Uh, let's see. I want to see... Sam, you're the leader of the faction. 89. Councilman. 
very nice. Rooted. As you can see, she's part tree, but only on the inside. Probably want to avoid her dying. And also, apparently, this is Bean, ex-lover. Apparently, uh, apparently, age was just a number to me at that time. Well, actually, how old am I here? 37? Yeah, that's a 13-year difference. Uh, that's, that's pretty big. At least, you know, in the year 5507. But who am I to judge? I mean, literally, my lover, I would literally be in the position to judge. In that ca specific capacity of choosing a lover. I know this is a hot take, but I do believe that we have the right and the agency to choose our own lovers. Based on our own judgments and our beliefs of that person. I know it's weird. But anyway. I mean, she has some pretty damn amazing stats. I'll give her that much. Holy crap, these are awesome. Yeah, don't tell anyone, but I want your genome. That's, that's a weird thing to say to an ex-lover, isn't it? Anyway. I just want some of your genome, baby. Okay, we got high quality tools down there now. Awesome. Now they just have to actually get built. Well, that's what Dirk Whipple is theoretically for. Once he's done stripping the entire planet of titanium. Not that I'm complaining. Alright. So we used more titanium over here, right? Did we use it all already? Yep. Pretty much. I mean, please understand. I need more alpha poly. It's all getting used for swords. Which is not a bad thing. We only got one more to make. And, he, you know, he's making it right now. So, honestly, this... Dirk, of course it's named after Dirk Dwipple. Dirk Dwipple's ally. The story of him completing a work on a large sculpture. Of course it's him completing on a large sculpture. What else would it possibly be? But, I mean, it's 30 damage per second. With 100% armor penetratus. You know I gotta use it. Alright, he's done it. We are officially titaniumless. At least right there. Very cool. Thank you for the support. Can you maybe make me... No, Birch is working on it. Never mind. You're not needed. Let Birch work on a project, you know? It's a good thing. I didn't even make it prioritize work. She just prioritized it herself. You know, I appreciate that... That gumption. For lack of a better word. Gumption. What am I, like... 60? I don't understand. I don't understand half the things I say in this... On this channel anymore. Well, not even on this channel. Most of the time I understand what I'm saying. This is what I'm doing this video. These videos. Because at this point, you all know what's going on. It's RimWorld. You know, you're just trying to build a better gun. You know, make a better defense. Slap up a better colony. That's all you're trying to do. Honestly, 24% on this quarry. It's pretty great. Rumo is still looking pretty rough, but he can't help it. He's got to mine for Plasteel. It's what he does. It gives him purpose. And you can't take that away from him. He's also tense. Something isn't right. Minor sanity loss. Hmm. Hmm. Might have to watch out for that. How long is this catharsis? Two days. All right, cool. Yeah, probably going to have to watch out for that a little bit. Obviously, we're making beer. That ain't no surprise to anyone. Microton microbrew. Still going pretty strong over here. I swear we have at least one trader that we're still wanting. Hey, Dadronic, when you're done trying to improve relations, why don't you do a trade? Yeah. Okay. Well, transport pods are here. Uh, group of mechanoids have arrived nearby. They want to use sappers to get around your defenses. It is one mammoth and one centipede? I am the opposite of afraid. All right. Look, guys, we got this, okay? 
we just use our own. What is this? Hmm. Mm hmm. I mean, that's supposed to be something you have equipped. I guess it just doesn't work. Whatever. Get out there. Whoop their butts. Okay. Let's see what you guys got. And you guys rented beds, right? Yeah, you paid me the 20 silver. Uh, I mean, cocktails, medicine, package. You know, I'll buy your medicine. You gotta do something, right? You gotta do something for them. And then you can buy some poor hats. You know, they aren't the best quality hats and parkas. But who cares? You're not that discriminating, right? They work. They only have a couple of holes in them. And honestly, you're still going to have a good time. All right, take this jacket, too. There you go. Thank you for your support. All right, back over here. Lucky the boys are moving. We got a stinky centipede and a stinky mammoth. They're going to try to go through our titanium auto doors. Not going to lie, I'm not that intimidated. Not yet. Ray Ray, what are you doing at the speed of woe? Hauling herbal medicine. I understand this, I do. All right. It's the Battle of the Mechanoids, boys. Let's do this. Come here and stuck... It stuck? Suck Starship Cannon. What's in this? Steel. Not that useful. Let's see what's over here. I mean, most of that is probably steel at this point. Let's be real. Let's be real about the steel. Oh, ho! Alright, Gnome's gonna get there first. Most likely. Roll's bringing up the rear. Gnome, you do have an armor module, right? Yeah, okay. You're all armored. This is good. Thank you, Dirk. Plasteel. That's something you could always use a little bit more of. You know? Where the heck is my wires? Where? There we go. Alright. There we go. Okay, it has begun. Starship Cannon is shooting. Right in this gob. Right in the gob. Suck that armor plating. Ow, oh, jeez. The foot. Gotta slap right on the foot immediately. That's alright. Also, the mammoth has legs. I mean, I guess it gets around somehow, but for some reason, I, I don't know. I figured it was on treads or something. Either way, the gunshot seems to be working pretty well. Roll's about to shoot as well. Here it comes. There it is. Actual garbage. <laughs> Sorry, all we need is a starship cannon. Yeah, it's got a lot of shots in it, too. Ah, they got an, an internal charge blaster as well. Excuse me, a heavy charge blaster. That means it's not internal. It's the only difference. Yeah, you got you, you animals better run away. I would recommend not being here right now. Just a personal... You just get blasted with a starship cannon. You did. You're done. I'm sorry this happened to you. Not that sorry, though. Ooh. Busted through that armor like it's nothing. All right, we got this, boys. You can't touch this shield. Rojo, why are you moving forward? You wish to you wish to engage in melee. All right, well, now this thing has no choice but to shoot the other guy, which is actually fine. Because now Mammoth, our Mammoth, Rojo, can multitask. You see, this is, this is the secret of the ooze right here. See... Everyone was like, why you put a starship cannon on him? That doesn't make sense. Well, now he can melee this boy, who's already weakened, while shooting this boy. 
I mean, look at that damage. He's already down to 50% health. Not that the health meter means literally anything in this game, I'm pretty sure. But I mean, it's getting destroyed. This is like top tier multitasking right here. Like, holy crap. There goes your fluid reprocessor, and I'm pretty sure you just shot your own mammoth, so good job. Yeah, I'll give you something to reprocess, you fool! Get that other one down. I don't know what that does to them. But apparently, right now, it's fluid processing. It's very poor. Hauling bot's even coming out to freaking refuel. Rearm, I should say. The Starship Cannon. While we're in... Yeah. Plus, it's actually taken a little bit of damage for Rojo. Rojo has taken one shot. As has Gnome so far, I believe. Dude, our mechs are 10 out of 10. So that, that, now the Starship Cannon doesn't do anything, but I mean, we're just going after this Mammoth at this point. And it's a two-on-one, three-on-one technically, but I mean, you're not contributing that much. No offense, Rolls. You're better against humans. In fact, go home. Yeah. It's nice to have you around, but you're not helpful in this fight. There you go. That's how you do it. So easy. Even a Scyther can do it. That was awesome. I love it. I love it a lot. Ooh, baby. You know what's coming next? That was a nice thunder strike over there. Okay, so we're gonna get some plasteel. That's pretty nice. And we'll probably just launch this stuff around and see what co see what comes out, basically. Let's hunt all animals. Just kinda cause we can. Would you hunt animals if I put you back in destroy mode? I actually don't think you would. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it only goes after enemies. Just too bad. Because that'd be kind of cool if it did. In fact, you should be able to put a hunting module on it. Yo, mod idea. You know, in case you need one, you don't. I know you guys don't, but... Hunting module. Make it happen. It just causes them to shoot dudes. What more could you ask for in this day and age? All right, I've already started, as you can see. This rhino, mm-hmm. Emphasis on the no, because it's gone. And dead. Anyway, uh, let's see here. This is all the animals we have here? Wow, we have a lot less than I thought. All right, so this is definitely not where our overpopulation problem is, animal-wise. Well, don't worry, Hernan's not going anywhere, as far as I know. Hernan's a good boy. He hauls. He bonds with Credmo. Honestly, that's all we need in the dog. Who's idle? Nene! Alright. I'm cool with this, Nene. Don't worry about it. Oh yeah, these are loaded now, aren't they? Yeah. Alright! Hmm. There you go, new android arrivals. Have some pets. It says it'll pr improve relations, but honestly, I don't believe it. It's gonna be more like, what the hell is all this? Why did you just dump a bunch of animals on us? What are you doing? Urist, what are you doing? Oh, you're hunting. I see. Uh, ooh. I'm in a caravan from the Dominion of Eberron. What have you got? Structure gel. Thank God. <laughs> Nothing I need, though. Yeah, we're just gonna move on. Cool. We're not gonna attack them. We're not monsters. We're idiots. In theory. Monstrous idiots, maybe. Anyway, does this, does this turn into an actual new faction if we meet them? No, but it does make them less hostile. Let's do it again, see if we can actually become friendlies with these this new faction. Man, I need to change your diet, dog. Guys, nice. like I said, we're not going to talk about that today. Alright. No, not that. This. Okay. 
we'll replace them in time. For now, let's load up some more animals. First of all, animals that don't help us. Rhinos technically do not help us. I mean, Demon has been with us for a while. This is true. We can't deny this. Tomome has been with us for a while. They technically don't help us that much, though. Glow Flammels. They do give us glow juice. That's not the actual name of it, but that's what I'm calling it now. God, they're heavy, though. These are some big units. Yo, I kind of really want to get rid of the Pebble Mint. So I think I'm going to get rid of that first. Obviously, we're not getting rid of the Overgrown Colossi. If you thought we were, my apologies. But we're not. Yeah, let's get rid of these two. I know it says we're out of space. I'm going to keep the freaking glow flammels because at least we get juice out of them. All right. I want to get rid of animals that we don't get anything out of. And yes, I do know these animals can technically mine. Doesn't matter right now, okay? Load them up, get them out. Boulder Mitt 1 is unavailable. Well, we better, better fix that, boys. All right. Hunting going on over here. Movement going on over here. Not much going on over here, but that's just microton for you. They make beer and they make people happy. It's honestly all you need. All right. And animals going down over here. Well, honestly, good times being had by all. Look at that. We got our first uh, explosive charge. We need to put it on channel 7, please. Channel 7. Please auto-replace this. And you know what? Let's actually hit me up with a bill that says keep us at not 10. Keep us at two explosives in reserve. Of each type. All right. We should probably do that over for the other kind of explosive, too. Not ten. Uh, you know what? Five. Five is fine. There. Cool. Excellent. Perfect. Possibly professional. I don't know in this day and age, man. All right. What I do know is that that is going to be it for this episode of That Plays RimWorld 1.0. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more. You know how it goes. You know it's going to keep coming and won't stop coming. Next time, hopefully, we'll have a battle. You know, if we don't, we don't. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for watching this episode of That Plays RimWorld 1.0. My name is Thet, and I will see you in the next video.